Estimate decimal quotients. How can we estimate a decimal quotient? We use compatible numbers. Compatible numbers are pairs of numbers you can add, subtract, multiply, or divide easily in your head. Let's recall how we can estimate the quotient of two whole numbers. We round 39 to the closest number that is a multiple of 4. Some basic multiples of 4 are 32, 36, and 40. 40 is closest to 39, so we can use 40. The numbers 40 and 4 are compatible numbers because you can divide them with no remainder. 40 divided by 4 equals 10. So 39 divided by 4 is about 10. This sign means approximately. Let's go back to decimals. Imagine that we have 39.6 instead of 39. The steps will be the same. When choosing compatible numbers, we need to look at the whole number part of the decimal dividend. Let's try an example. 38.2 divided by 4. 38.2 is the dividend, and 4 is the divisor. To estimate, we can use a compatible number greater than the dividend, so the quotient will be greater than the actual quotient. In this case, the compatible number greater than the whole number part of the dividend, 38, is 40. We can also choose a compatible number less than the dividend, so the quotient will be less than the actual quotient. The compatible number less than the whole number part of the dividend is 36. Now we divide the compatible numbers by 4, which is the divisor. 40 divided by 4 equals 10, so the actual quotient is smaller than 10. 36 divided by 4 equals 9, so the actual quotient is between 9 and 10. It is about 9.5. Let's do another example. 27.5 divided by 6. The compatible number greater than the whole number part of the dividend is 30. The compatible number less than the whole number part of the dividend is 24. 30 divided by 6 equals 5. 24 divided by 6 equals 4. So the actual quotient is between 5 and 4. It is approximately 4.5. Let's try another example. 3.29 divided by 6. As you can see, in this example the dividend is smaller than the divisor. We need to rename the decimal dividend as tenths or hundreds first. Then we can find the compatible numbers. Instead of saying 3 ones and 2 tenths, we can say we have 32 tenths. We write 32 tenths divided by 6. Now we find the compatible number. The compatible number is 30. We divide 30 by 6 and we get 5. So 32 tenths divided by 6 is approximately 5 tenths. To write the final answer, we put a 0 in the 1's place. Then we write the decimal point and we put a 5 in the tenths place. So the final answer is approximately 0 0.5. Let's do another example. 269.8 divided by 43. Looking at our example, we see that 43 is the divisor. It's very hard to find compatible numbers for 43. Because we're estimating, we can actually change our divisor to a friendlier number. So instead of 43, we can say 40. Now we can find a compatible number for the dividend. To find the compatible numbers for 269.8 and 40, we can make it easier by pretending we have 26 and 4. Now we can find the compatible number greater than the whole number part of the dividend, which is going to be 280. The compatible number less than the whole number part of the dividend will be 240. We divide both compatible numbers by 40. 280 divided by 40 equals 7. 240 divided by 40 equals 6. So the actual quotient will be between 6 and 7, approximately 6.5. So 269.8 divided by 43 is approximately 6.5. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, 
please subscribe.